Hello everyone, my name is Filipa and welcome to the MTG Arena official channel. So today I'm here to showcase a very fun sweet deck for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment to show some support and show that you enjoyed the video. So here we have an Explorer Mono Black Devotion deck. And I really enjoy Mono Black decks, I don't know why, I always enjoyed in every format and I saw this one running around, it's become a quite popular and I wanted to see if it's actually worth the hype. Uh, this deck focus on the Grey Merchant of Aspodel, so if you don't know it, it's a 5 mana 2-4 that it, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is the devotion to black. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. So, if you are wondering what devotion is, uh, if you count the black symbols, it's the devotion to black. So every permanent on the battlefield that has these little black swamp symbols, it's counting towards devotion. So for example, if you have a Liliana, you have two devotion. And when Grey Merchant of the Aspodel enters the battlefield, if you have the Liliana, you become four devotion, two from the Grey, two from the Liliana. I hope that makes it clear. So this deck focus on basically trying to one-shot your opponent, or at least with two Grey Merchants just finishing the job. You have a lot of help to do so. We have 4 Fatal Push, it's very good early removal, 4 Thought Seize, if your opponents are playing Control, this card is great because you can take their Counter Spell or that Board Wipe that you really don't want to be played against. So, we have 3 Warlock class and why I like this card so much and this card Seize play is, first of all, it's a permanent, so it's going to always count towards your Devotion. And then it helps you found, find your key cards to the deck. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, each opponent loses one life. Then you have the two mana ability that basically lets you search for cards. You look at the top cards and you choose one to your end, two go to the graveyard. And then for seven mana, and usually you can get all these mana with Nikdos, but we'll talk about this land a little bit, a little bit later on. And at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life they lost this turn. So basically it doubles the damage that you already gave to your opponent. We have a Wish Claw Talisman, this card is good, it's very situational, but sometimes you really need the Grey Merchant to finish the game, and the idea is to just play it when you really need that Grey Merchant, because otherwise we are going to give the Wish Claw back to our opponent and they can find answers as well, so the ideal situation is that you have this on the board and at least 6 mana to go get your Grey Merchant of Asphodel. We have two... 3 Gifted Aetherborn, 2 mana, 2, 3 Dead Touch Lifelink, and it's 2 black mana, so it counts a lot towards Devotion. 1 Timoret. Timoret works pretty well, especially when you want to exile your opponent's graveyard, because for 2 mana, you can exile up to 2 target cards from graveyard. You gain 1 life for each creature card exiled this way, so it helps you gain life, it helps you exile your opponent's um, graveyard, and often it becomes like a 2 10, 2 9, because of the toughness being Devotion. And we have a lot of devotion in this deck. We have two Yarox Fanlooker. Not only as the devotion, uh, which is very good, it also, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent exiles a card from the end. So it works a bit like End Eruption, which works really well in this deck. We have three Mitwook Massacre, and this is a permanent, which is kind of nasty. Like, this card is really good. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, each creature gets minus X, minus X until the end of the turn. And whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a creature an opponent control dies, you gain one life. We have two Liliana of the Veil, three Murderous Rider, three Underworld Dreams. Again, three Devotion is really important in this deck, especially because we want to try our Nyctos to get us a lot of mana. We have two Shielder the Apocalypse, two Soaring the Martless, and the four Grey Merchant of Aspodel, as I told. About lands, we have this key card. We have three Nyctos trying to Nyx. Unfortunately, this is a legendary land. I mean, not unfortunately, because this card is pretty crazy. You can add mana of colorless, or you can pay two and tap this. So for three mana, you choose a color. In this case, you choose black. Add an amount of mana of that color equal to the number of devotion to that color. So if you have at least three devotion on the board, which is not that difficult, this already gives you three black mana, right? Uh, and it costs three. But if you have four, you get one free mana. If you have five, you get two free mana, and so on. So often this card gets you eight, nine mana. It allows you to play the Grey Merchant. It allows you to do plays, like I said, Dwish Claw to get the Grey Merchant and finish the game. 
Uh, we are also running two Takanuma, 12 Swamps, two Ives, and four Castle Lockwain. We really want to draw cards. Our spells, some of them are really low curve, so often we will see that we have a lot of lands and we want to keep on drawing. This is the deck. I'm going to play some Explorer games and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's go! This is a keep. We have Totsis, which is great, Fatal Push, so we have basically a good start, even if they have Control or if they have an Agro deck, so let's see what they are hiding. I wish we had a third land. Looks like they are in the Mirogs, maybe? Or they have Flash. Okay, so they only have two lander lands as well. Um, unfortunately, their Flash spells are going to be a bit less expensive but i can kill one of the night founders with the push so i just need to make sure i keep push up because i really need to kill that especially if they don't have any more ways to get some flash so if they don't get a third land we are good here if they have a third land though we might be in some trouble they do have a third land, that's not great, but we do have a Liliana, so we can just minus the Liliana, make them sacrifice that. Knows, we need another Your land, though. Although these Nikos can carry us if we get a lot of devotion, Nikto's really good. Okay, we did get that, which is pretty good. Let's plus our Liliana. That's okay. So I think here we might actually discard the Etherborn. Because I think I want to eventually play another Liliana. They might bounce our Underworld Dreams, but we can just replay it eventually. Okay, and hopefully they are running out of resources and they just draw lands. Oh, that's my cue to leave. Ooh, Shieldred is actually pretty good here. Okay, so they are looking for a counter. Good news is that now they cannot play the Brazen Borrower, so... They might go for the Scry. Okay, they didn't Scry upkeep. They need to find an answer for my children and they know that. Right now my Nyctos is only for 2, so it's not worth it. I need to work on my Devotion. I think Underworld Dreams is the best follow-up if we don't draw anything. Let's go for the Underworld Dreams. Now every time they draw a card they lose 3 life. 2 for Shieldred and 1 for the Underworld Dreams. I'm not going to attack because with Brazen Borrower that becomes a 5-4 and then it's able to trade with our children and we want children to survive. Okay, they are looking for answers. And this great merchant is going to do a lot of work. If they don't de deal with children, next turn we have access to a lot of mana. No, they have an answer. Okay, they are looking for it. No! Okay. Fair enough. So here I can Liliana first. And I'm going to minus the Liliana. Happy to help. But I'm taking the credit when we win. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? They're already at 5, so 4 now with the Underworld Dreams trigger. I'm going to try to protect my Liliana. 
we still have Castle Lockwain to make us draw some cards. Our life total is pretty healthy as well. So here I'm just going to save my Liliana. Okay, let's play land, let's plus, see what they discard. That's not ideal, but not much we can do. We all I need to draw here. Huh, not bad. So how much does this Nico provide me? Okay, so I have five, so I can do for four, which is exact for three actually, which is not Amazing, but it gets rid, rid of the Wisp, we gain life. I could have waited, but I think I really want to keep applying some pressure. I cannot keep this forever because I want to use Liliana plus ability. Although they are going to kill it now. But hey, 5 damage in Liliana is 5 damage that we don't take. <laughs> Push is really good here, not going to lie. They are on a three turn clock. Okay, let's see what I get with my castle or queen. Let's do it again. Oh, sorry, it's pretty good. We're still at 15, so I'm not too concerned. I do feel like they have a counter, maybe the one with the 5-4. But I think that one is only creatures, maybe? Yeah, artifact or creature. So that works well for, for us. I'm going to draw. I only lose one I life. Bring my own army. Okay, we got another Nick dose, which is not... Amazing. Oh no! Okay, I'll have to play it again. She's okay. I guess it's better to do this, and if they don't have any creature, I just win. I'm just going to attack first. Okay. This is going to be a big shark, unfortunately, but not much I can do. At least I gain some life. I guess they are dead now because they lose one life from the massacre. Then I just need to do this. Easy game. We got them. This is really good. I love starting my end with a thought season fatal push, but who doesn't? Okay, so this might be vampires, which is actually one of my favorite decks to play. And if you play vampires, you know, you have to get rid of that knight. Okay, so now we can start with Totsis. Hmm, okay, so they have Assassin's Trophy. I don't care too much about it. Uh, they have some good cards. I kind of want to take both of their three drops. I have Murderous Rider that deals with Nisa or Shieldred, so not too concerned. Okay, I need to kill that though. Let me just read it. Whenever enters... Uh, I really don't want them. They don't have the third mana yet, so I really don't want them to... To get cards. Okay. 
Now I really need them to not get the fourth one. Or I can just... I'm just going to play Rider. I need to work on my Devotion. I think that's the best. And unfortunately I cannot play... Okay, so they decide to go for the Assassin's Trophy. That works okay for me. Oh, and they did it before I... Okay, that helps me. Let's get rid of that shield My life total though, it's kind of scary. Not going to lie. I think I want to go for the devotion. This deck really relies on having eye devotion. Okay, that's that's so annoying, but it's okay. We still are doing good. They still need to draw. Okay. I can... If I get a land, I can massacre. Mm, okay, so I can just massacre for two here. Or do I need to? Maybe I just go for this. Just to work on my devotion. I think it's the best thing I can do. Trigger, they lose one life. Yes, I, I know that they could start doing that. But now my devotion is four. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going for gray in this case. So this gives me four mana, so I have access. It's Xaxis. There's still more creatures that they can get, but it's okay. Not on my grave, just on theirs. There's three more creatures that they can get. Okay, so I need to find an answer for that with my Warlock class. Soren is pretty good. I kind of want this. Okay, good thing they didn't have an answer for my Otherborn, otherwise we could be in some trouble. Okay, so I think I'll sorry in here. I, take no joy. I have six mana, I'm one off to being able to do this ability, unfortunately. Deal with my servant. I'm busy. I think I'm just going to gain life here. Okay. Not sure if they forgot about the dead touch. They are getting really low. Oh, but Shieldred is a good one. I don't think it's enough though, to be honest. Lose life. Let's see what Sorin provides us. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can play this. I know it's legendary, but I really want to get a bunch of mana. They are so dead. Okay, they finally casted Denisa. And we got them, it's just a bit, a little bit too late. This deck is really fun. I think I can say no to an end that starts with Totsis and that I have lands to cast stuff. Giganta, okay, let's see. Oh, they're playing Sacrifice, okay. Actually pretty annoying. I think I have to cut the claim. It works pretty well against us.
I have to kill that while I can. It's a pretty good card. The exile from Timoret is actually going to be quite handy in this deck, I believe. Unfortunately, this castle lock queen enters tapped because I don't have any swamp. Another one. one I'm a sucker for two I don't I'm not quite sure how it works because I will have more devotion once this enters ha it survives I was wondering if it survived but it does because the devotion happens it's when it enters the battlefield so these work quite well especially if they don't have ways to return the cat Okay, I have to kill that devil, and unfortunately I don't have a way out to do it. So I have to get you deal with this that cat out of the way but that devil is definitely scary they can start cleaning my sorin fight i'll fix that but for them to send village rights village rights is a great card so that makes me scared Okay, looks like Let my sword is gone, over. they draw two cards, they have a treasure. Oh, they just put Gigante in end, that's actually really good for me. Like, really, really good. Push is good. But Shieldred is better, I think. So many cards, they have to have something better than putting Gigante in end. And now they have six mana. I think they have to have something better than Gigante here. Right? Okay, guess we got him. We j I they just conceded. I mean it makes sense. We got a lot of things with our devotion. Feels good. I think I can definitely keep this. Hello. Okay, aggressive deck. Yep. Always kill the elf if you can, you know? Especially when they use stomping ground for it. This looks like maybe gruel vehicles. Good thing we have some removal. That's pretty good. No, don't kill my Aetherborn. Okay. That's actually fine. Doesn't count as casting a creature spell. Because you cast the sorcery, right? That creates the human. So it doesn't get a plus one, plus one, which is pretty good for us. I'm really tempted to play these dreams. Because I really need to build my devotion. My Nikados already gives five mana, which is pretty good. So next turn I'll have six mana if they don't kill anything I have.
Am I played Love Struck Beast? This is also a turn that um, Chariot can enter. Yeah, Chariot. I'm I'm definitely worried about Chariot here. Okay, Werewolf. Werewolf. Pack leader is fine. It's not the end of the world. I think I have to take it. I need this devotion. What can I do here with this amount? I guess I can play this first. It gets me one more mana. So now I have access to this plus this. And I even think I'm just going to attack. Okay, now things are looking up. They are starting to get a big beat every time they draw a card. I think they missed land drop, so that's pretty good for us. Okay, that's perfect. So maybe they can play the Love Stroke Beast. Yeah, so the Beast color is now 4, they can attack us for 5, but I'm okay with that. Okay, they are bold. Okay, so let's start. Mm, unfortunately, I don't have enough mana to do this and then use the... So let's start with this. Uh, there we go. It's our good boy merchant. So we have 9 mana, so I think we can do this, this, I knew they had a chariot, they always have the chariot, they just didn't have the mana to play it. Easy! <laughs> that was a pretty fun one, not going to lie. We can definitely keep this, I hope they don't have a... Uh, too aggressive of a deck, but we'll try. Always love being on the play. Mm, okay, they have Kumano. That's not a raid, but we can use the ability from the Warlock. I like Sorin. But at the time, I think Ederborn is better here against this deck. I really need the land though. Fair enough. Okay, they are just going for it. Makes sense. Okay, thank god we got this land, but I'm not sure if I can survive until Grey Marsh appear appears. I need them to full here. That's fine, I guess. That's the best they have. Uh, okay, that's a bit not as hard. Okay, that's really good, not going to lie. But if they have another fluid fire, I'm just dead. I just hope they just play the Bone Crush Giant and I get a land to play Grey Martian, because otherwise. They need to screw the skewer the critics in my face. Okay, they have land. Kumani, that's fine. Please don't have fluid fire. Just play the Bone Crush Riant. So I have to block here and I have to... Oh, they have something. Okay, they think they killed me but they didn't, that's the thing. I'm going to 
gain some life, so that's pretty good. We didn't get... I think I have to attack. I need to work on my devotion. I think that's it, I need to work on my devotion. And hope they, that they, they don't top deck something. Because if I get the merchant, I'm completely fine. Okay. okay. I have to kill that, obviously. Just I gain life. I know that they have the... the tutu but I don't think I can afford to not attack here and gain life. I just have to hope that they don't have anything honestly. Okay good. Come on this is so bad. I need a land. Slowly but surely they're also at 8. And now there's less outs that they have. Screw the critics doesn't do it. One Crusher Giant doesn't do it. That will lower my life, but also doesn't do it. That's good. So they are now at... 3 life. Okay, they need to have it now, otherwise we win. Let's see. Okay, I don't think that's enough, right? We did it! Yay! Okay. We didn't even need the gray version there. Very nice. That's a wrap, everyone. I hope to enjoy it. I really like the games. This deck is really fun. If I would change something after playing these games, it would be to maybe get more Timoret. Timoret was really good, and even though it's a legendary, don't forget, you can only have one at the board at the time. But I think it's better than Wishclaw Talisman that didn't do too much for us. Or even Yar Yarox Fan Cooler Lurker. So I don't know. Maybe I would do some change there. Other than that, I really enjoyed it. I hope you liked the games. Comment which game was your favorite and which card is your favorite from this deck. Thank you so much, MTG Arena, for inviting me to come here on the channel and showcase everyone this deck. And that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.